my name is Billy Richards. I'm the Apostle of Grace Fellowship Ministries located in Brooklyn, New York. Our ministry oversees properties in Ghana, West Africa, as well as uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And I have a wife, Chanel, of 32 years, and I have a son, Justin, who just recently turned 30 years old, and I'm grateful for that. He has a wife named Zoe, so they've been married for two years now. So I'm really, really happy with my family outlook at this stage. But that wasn't always so true for me. Um, in 2011, uh, during a routine physical I had, my primary care physician expressed to me that he had some grave concerns about my PSA levels. Uh, he told me that my PSA level was of 7.5 at the time, and he was concerned with regard to a possibility of me having cancer. But he referred me to a urologist, and upon seeing the urologist, he also did another PSA exam for me, and he looked at the score and he said, that, you know, the rate was still 7.5, and he wanted to do a biopsy. After the biopsy, it was determined that I did have prostate cancer. It was a moment for us. As a husband and wife, it was a moment. When cancer does affect people, uh, it affects their families also. It shook me. It rocked me to my very core. And the person closest to me in the whole world, I called my wife and I shared with her what the doctor had told me. And she said to me on the phone, she said, honey, we're going to get through this. And she said, God is going to make a way. The urologist stated to me that he wanted to perform a routine surgery to remove my prostate. That particular option was not acceptable to me. I, at that point in time, expressed to him where there are other options other than traditional surgery. And he said that that was the only option that he knew of. And so I then questioned him. I said, well, what are other options are available on the market? And he said, well, there's a program called CyberKnife, but he says, I don't have a lot of information about it. So he said, I can't recommend something that I'm not sure about. But he said the, the process that he always dealt with was to remove a gentleman's prostate. I s expressed him at that time that I was not prepared to make a decision on my surgical outlook. So he told me that I could enter into a period what was called watchful waiting. And during that time of watchful waiting, it was a three-year period. And so he said to me, no, your, your prostate, you know, your PSA level has increased and I still recommend at this time that you have the surgery done but traditional surgery was still not acceptable to me. During my second follow-up with my urologist and during the watchful waiting period I expressed to him I have prostate cancer but prostate cancer doesn't have me and he looked at me and he just gave me a blank stare but I was letting him know that this was not going to defeat me and so I went on the website and I started searching out different organizations and hospitals that perform various surgeries that don't include cutting on you and removing your prostate. I then saw a commercial on television about the CyberKnife program and Dr. Haas was doing the commercial. After seeing the commercial, I went to the website and I found out more information and the CyberKnife program had a 97% success rate and I watched the video by Dr. Jonathan Haas and he explained what the CyberKnife program was and he stressed that there was no cutting, there was no bleeding, and it was uh, a process where they, they did not have to remove your prostate because the cyber knife would kill all of the cells around the prostate area. I went back to my primary care physician and I asked him for a referral to send me to Winthrop Hospital for testing. And he, at that point, was a little hesitant because he also didn't know a lot about the cyber knife program, so he wasn't too comfortable um, in giving me the referral because I had been one of his long-term patients and he did take great care of me. So he referred me to Dr. Haas and I came in and spoke with Dr. Haas. He was very reassuring. Um, he wasn't like my urologist. He was giving me hope and letting me know that the CyberKnife program would be a benefit to me. Dr. Haas assured me that the CyberKnife program was a success because many other men have gone through it. And so I still did a little bit more research uh, on it. And again, when I found there was a 97% success rate, that really gave me a, a great comfort level. The CyberKnife treatment didn't inhibit anything in your, you know, in your daily routine uh, because I was told it was just five visits, 45 minutes, and you know, you're back at work. And so for me, um, that's what I wanted to hear. Those are the things that were making me feel really comfortable. And he was true to his word. There was no bleeding. There was no discomfort. I was really amazed to know that this was available to men. 
and CyberKnife was a way that you can still have your life and still have who you are as an individual. Uh, because I had vowed that I was not leaving this world without everything that I came in with. And so Dr. Haas, in this, in this regard, has helped me to maintain that stance that I took about myself. And so the CyberKnife program was effective in my life. And through subsequent PSA exams, the CyberKnife program has shown that the, the prostate cancer has been eradicated and my PSA level went from a 7.5 to a zero. I truly believe that everyone needs to be told about the CyberKnife program because if I had not seen the commercial with Dr. Haas, I might have gone in another direction and my life may not be the way it is today. One of the reasons why when I spoke to Dr. Haas and I agreed to do the commercial for Winthrop is that sometimes we go through things in life and we sometimes have to be I guess pioneers or role models for other people to follow and I agreed to do the commercial based upon the fact that it would help people it would help other men and I guess my story would someday help and bring other men and their families to a place of, of hope and knowing that there is hope beyond traditional surgery that won't affect them in their lifestyles and their families won't have to look at things in such a dark, dark cloud that I did in 2011. But the CyberKnife program did bring a whole lot of light to my life. And I want to share that light with other men that may be going through the same situation. I referred a friend of mine to Dr. Haas because he had a PSA level of 16. And he too felt a great level of comfort with Dr. Haas. And he entered into the CyberKnife program. His PSA went from a 16 to a complete zero. One of the things that I was grateful for is that the staff of Winthrop was so caring and so concerned about my overall well-being. The mindset of Winthrop is they care about their patients and that for me spoke volumes because again they made me feel like that if I was the only person that had prostate cancer that they would do everything in their power to, to help me to get well and so every time I came it was always about me and that, that spoke volumes to me. They made me feel great, they made me feel comfortable. The environment here at Winthrop was fabulous and the people that work here are fabulous people and, and I'm grateful to God for them because they were with me every step of the way. I was treated in Mineola, but it's good to hear that they have a, an office in Manhattan now to be able to help more people. As the word continues to be spread about the CyberKnife program, I just believe and I pray that it would bring more men into the fold and to have men really get themselves tested and find out that there are other options rather than just going through traditional surgery. So Winthrop Hospital and the CyberKnife program for me has been truly a godsend. You know, Dr. Haas, he's my buddy. You know, he's, he's, he and I, he's a true friend. And I'm a grateful man today because I performed my son's wedding two years ago and I'm hopeful for grandchildren now, and I'm hopeful to see them because I'm cancer free. And Winthrop has done that for me. I get emotional because I'm here today because of their work. I'm shouting to the highest mountain, I'm cancer free. I'm cancer free.